What up guys, that comic awesome here doing another review, doing Deathbed number two. And I can't stress this enough. Um, if you're not reading this series, uh, you should be. It is good. It's not a superhero book. It's not um it's not anything like that. It's a very uh trippy, uh psychedelic, uh very uh interesting book. Uh, I think it's only a six-part series, uh, limited series as well. So we're on issue two, and it's already fun and entertaining, but also you get a lot out of it too. Story thus far, uh, Valentine is a writer, or kind of like a, a wannabe writer. She is a ghost writer. She pretty much writes people's biographies. Um, <clears throat> so she's not getting like any work all of a sudden, her publisher tells her, like, she pretty much has to take this job or she's getting fired. But this this guy, uh, Antonio Luna, requested her by name to write his story. When she goes to meet him, he's pretty much on his deathbed. Um, and he's like, look, I'm dying. And I want to tell my story. You have to write it. And she's like, okay. She's like, but I, he's like, but I have to tell you something first. I'm not dying. And he, like, gets out of bed and there's a bunch of uh, ninja mummies and, like, he kills them all. He's like, look, the reason why I had to lure you here under those false pretenses was I, w I do want you to write my story. And I am technically dying. I feel myself getting weaker, you know, every day. He's like, but I don't want to die in this bed. So what we're going to do is I want you to follow me on my adventure as I confront every one of my, um, every one of my enemies uh, and as I fight every one of my enemies, whichever one bests me and kills me, like, that's where my story ends. And again, very kind of deep. The way I, I, I just think of him as, like, the most interesting man in the world. Like, that's, as, as he goes about in this book, like, that's how I imagine, um, like, the way he, you know, kind of how he acts. Like, there's always, like, a crazy story that he has. Anyway, uh, right after... He tells uh, her this, uh, one of the zombies is like, look, or not zombies, mummies, ninjas, uh, is like, look, the plan isn't always just to kill you, we're going to kill everyone who ever knew you, because we don't want you to leave um, a legacy behind. We want anybody who knew you to die, that way, when you die, no one will ever know you, and to, to Luna, that is like the... Like, the ultimate hit to the gut. He's like, no, I can't have... You know, my story is the greatest story ever. Like, I, we have to set out and save these people. So, uh, and Valentine obviously goes along for the ride. Kind of to write uh, what she sees. So, you kind of... I can't get the... It's it's a very trippy and fun book. Uh, you get kind of this, like, action shot of in Paris. You get some uh, narration to kind of catch you up on what exactly is going on. They find um, one of uh, somebody dead in an alley, and it um, it's Lord Underroot, um, who knew Luna from back in the day, and he's like, you know, he seems pretty upset, and he's like, oh, I hated this guy, and she's like, well, if you hated him, why are you, uh, why are you so upset? He's like, I'm upset because he's a person who knew me at this point in my life. Now that he's dead. You know, there is no one that can corroborate my stories for this time of my life when I was just, you know, a young con man kind of thing. And so it's like important to note, like, again, like it makes you think when when you are when you're living, you know, it's like you're like the best of you are the stories people will tell about you like. You know, you can do all the good or bad, but it's like the best and worst of you will always be the stories someone tells about you. And I think that's what it kind of gets at, that he doesn't want that to go away. Like, because if everyone goes away, he's irrelevant, he goes away. Um, so then it kind of goes into other people that they've already come across who Luna knew and, he, and have gotten killed. And then this is another important thing. So this was... You know, as part of the narration, um, 
it was like how she sees it. She's like, you know, it was how Luna saw people from his past, or rather, didn't. Luna hadn't spoken to any of them since he left. Uh, they left his life almost as if they were dead. Um, to him, uh, or they were dead to him long before the ninjas got to him. And it made her question her own role. Was she merely a member of his audience, or a sidekick to play a part? The latter since, uh, scared her, since uh, currently there was a hit out, a target on the back of anyone who um, who pretty much knows him. So, and it kind of, again gets into the deepness of like, you know, he's really only concerned that these people are dying because they're people that he knew at points of his life. And, you know, you always have that person, you know, you think back at like high school or something like... They're friends that you, you met, and then, like, they were really good friends, and then maybe you, like, moved a little bit, and then you just never spoke to them again. But then you think back, and you're like, oh, man, that guy was, like, really cool. Like, I really wish I hung out with him more. But then, you know, like, that that's pretty much what he did, but, like, over and over again. So then they go to this um, uh, Maggie Mars's funeral, who was uh, a friend or someone who knew him, uh, they uh they pretty much say she's a saint she pretty much uh had a lot of uh like work in third world countries saving people and it's funny because even you know valentine's like look don't make a scene here we're at like a funeral we're gonna get clues of who killed her and like leave so then um maggie's daughter is telling a like kind of a a sweet story about her mom and uh how you know there was a village and he's like and she just says and my mother had given all the blood she can get or she could give literally the doctor said if she gave one more drop it would kill her and then uh but she said it's my damn drop and kept giving save the children who lost so much and of course it didn't kill her then she started a charity one more drop uh, to help rebuild the entire village. Um, if you saw, um, if you still draw, or as a reminder, that if you still draw breath, you can still do more for those in need. You know, my mother was humble uh, to see all of you here today. Again, a really sweet story about a dead woman who had just passed. And then, of course, Luna being like kind of like the, the a hole version of the most interesting man in the world. It's like, that's a, an abomination. He's like, you know, your mother wouldn't want you to tell a story like, you know, so sappy and, you know, whatever. It's like, he's like, your mother was a, you know, you know, was a, helped me like defeat, you know, aliens and stuff in, in the desert. And hang on, I'm going to have to, uh, there we go. This is a mature book. So there's some scenes in it, but it essentially tells this story about how, they found each other in Nevada and for two weeks they essentially uh, killed mutant aliens and made love to each other and they loved each other uh, very intensely and you know pretty much without any questions but then after that two weeks they decided to kind of part ways and he's like but your mother's memory will be preserved as a chapter in my book and even even me saying that out loud, like, I mean, the arrogance that, like, comes from that, like, oh, your dead mother, like, don't worry. I'm going to preserve her memory in a chapter in my book. And so they start, you know, obviously that upsets the daughter. And he's like, you know, she's like, look, my mother was happily married for 30 years, had so pretty much telling, like, the rest of her life, you know, Luna is sitting here saying, like, you're, you know, telling these people who knew this woman that he knew for two weeks and, like, pretty much saying, like, look, you don't know your, your own mom. And he's, and she's like, look, no, my mom was happily married, had five kids, countless grandkids. A lot of people called her mom, you know, just because she, she helped them. And, you know, you're going to tell me how I don't know my mother, like my own mother. So then Valentine even kind of, like, you know, he smarts off some more. She's like, look, we're at a funeral. 
you can't sit here and and tell people you know exactly what I just said. You, you know, you can't tell people that they don't know their own mother. At the, at, you know, you know, especially since you're the the reason why she got killed, and of course that then uh, pisses everyone off. Again, it's it's deep because you sit here and you read this and you and you say like it, it's it's hard to imagine um when when you look at your own life and again even I'm I'm kind of thinking about this now like as I'm as I'm going through this video like you enter and exit people's lives people enter and exit your life but like it's hard to think that when somebody exits your life their story keeps going it's like Paul Walker at the end of Fast and Furious just kind of drifting away but you don't die you actually just keep driving so you know you may know someone you know for five or ten years but then that's five or ten years out of like 80 or 90 years that's like barely a scratch on the surface so it's like other people may have known somebody else for like yeah 30 or 40 years you know and there's there they have more stories and, and know that person even better kind of thing so it's very interesting that like Luna is supposed to be like this great adventurer, but it, it's it's becoming clear that like no one really like knows him, and he really doesn't know anybody, and it's it's just very um, yeah. I, I I like the that that kind of I like that kind of feeling. Like I like what I, the feeling I get when I read this book because it it makes me want to keep going and see like the character growth that will happen uh, happen there. Uh, there's some more, it kind of ends on a, on a, we, another weird kind of trippy note, but again, like, read this book, read this series, it's, you know, it's definitely worth the pickup, but, uh, but yeah, check it out, uh, subscribe over here, watch some more videos, hit me up in the comments, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.